Hello there. So today we're going to be playing around with some makeup. We're going to be trying out the Sparkle Fantasy Cosmetics Follow Your Dreams palette. Sparkle Fantasy Cosmetics is formerly known as Glitter Eyes. It's owned by a fantastic lady called Carrie. She came up with this brand. She is a genius like she loves glitter she's obsessed but aren't we all um, and she very kindly sent me this palette to try she's sending me a while ago after it's just taken me too long to get to actually try and get out but we're going to be trying out the palette finally today and i also have a couple of other products to try as well so we have another one of the diamond glow highlighters by focalior you may remember if you watch my channel or if you've watched my channel ever i don't know um i tried the gold the gold highlighter um so i tried one of the range and i have another one to try today in the shade nova light it's going to be really interesting like when i take the highlighter out of the box will it also be called gold or will it say glow i don't know but we shall see in just a sec finally we have a liquid lipstick this is by the key best brand and it's a beautiful kind of baby pink shade so i just thought it'd be fun just to play around just have a little bit of like a get ready with me but still kind of doing some first impressions so we're going to begin today with the follow your dreams palette by sparkle fantasy cosmetics it comes in this uh, cardboard packaging it's got a slightly hollow look to it and inside we have the most beautiful color story we've got a gorgeous like gorgeous hot pink like oh i would actually describe this as being like a barbie pink so i'm definitely going to be incorporating this shade into the look today but we have shimmers at the bottom which are beautiful kind of ethereal pastel shades then we've got the mattes and then we have a row of glitters because this is carrie who's designed this so of course we're going to have glitters it would not be a palette designed by carrie if it did not have a glitter in it so I'm going to put the price of this palette down below because I can't quite remember and I'm in a flow of filming so I just, you know, I've got to keep going. I've had a shitty morning, the absolute worst morning you could ever imagine this morning. I'm not going to bore you with the details but my day started at 5.53 with a call from, I'm not, I'm not going to bore you but it was shit morning before nine o'clock i think i'd spoken to about 10 different people and that's never a good thing like never a good thing i often like to go a whole day without speaking to more than 10 people so you know before nine o'clock on a fecking saturday that's unacceptable but ta -ta -ta, ta -ta -ta, ba -ba 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 -ba. boom boom i don't even know what anyway guys so today we're going to begin with this light pink shade and i'm going to pop that all up in my crease Okay, so I can see her already. She is an extremely pale pink, but we can see her, which is absolutely fantastic. I didn't actually think she was going to be quite this noticeable so far, just because she is such a light shade. Um, but I am kind of going in with the stamping technique. So with kind of lighter shades or formulas that aren't super pigmented i always kind of um you know stamp the uh, the shadow on first before i start to blend there we go oh my gosh that's gorgeous that is an absolutely beautiful i would call it a pastel pink and never in my life have i actually found a matte pastel pink that i like today could be that day like even though my day started off shitty there's no reason why it cannot be the day where i discover a phenomenal matte pastel pink do you know what this this is gorgeous like look at that and i've not blended yet like i've not blended and i don't even know if i will like i do not know like someone come and arrest me right now because i am probably not going to blend this I mean, really, guys, I wanted to ask, did you have a good day? I really, really hope that you did, or I hope that you're having a good day. I hope you've not had to speak to more than 10 people, you know? So, okay, there we go, guys. I am just going to just blend, blend a little bit just up in the outer perimeter. 
and I'm going to take this under the eye as well. Did I look really serious and intense then? I'm going to take this under the eye. I mean, really, guys. So I'm going to actually use the same brush, even though this is quite a large brush. Like, I give no shades. I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to just kind of stamp this under my eye. I just feel like I'm going to go for a super girly kind of blown out pink look today I want to be like the human incarnation of Barbie she's gonna be my mood like that's the mood the mood I'm in for some reason like, I can't find any of my regular brushes in my brush holder which is a little bit disconcerting because I'm like where have they gone but it's fine okay so guys next is this brush dirty or is it just like does it have black bristles? I don't know. I, but I don't have any other brushes with black bristles, so I'm thinking this is dirty. Shall we do a test? Oh yeah, it's fucking dirty. Oh shit. Guys, shit. I was just about to use that. Could you imagine? That would have just like ruined my whole day, like even more. So anyway, I'm just trying to look for a fucking brush. Right, so guys, I've got a fucking brush. Okay, I'm ready. So next, we are going to go in with the hot pink of course the hot pink look at that guys oh my gosh so again i'm just gonna like go to tap gonna blend a bit of tapping and blending action okay so i love it guys i absolutely i absolutely love what's happening here like i love it i'm loving it I'm in love. Do you know what this is? <sighs> oh, this is gorgeous. I, I am, I, I've died and gone to eyeshadow heaven right now. Like, I love this. And I, I've not really done much blending because I feel like, you know, these are definitely pastel shades. Like, if you've ever wanted, like me, to find a really, really quite pigmented pastel pink, look no further like we have her we found her i'm focusing this on the actual crease as opposed to you know i'm kind of trying not to take it up too high i'm coming forward a little bit because once again i am uncomfortable i mean i'm here i've got my own space to film in i've got my executive velvet chair but yet i'm still uncomfortable like what is even happening feel like I'm kind of cursed sometimes like do you ever feel that when you just think to yourself yes like a witch put a curse on me and this is just my life this is this is my destiny um this is as good as it'll get like I don't mean that because I've actually been blessed in so many ways of course but so guys I'm loving that like I just love everything about it but I feel like I just want to put a little bit more pink you know just up there so okay so guys fucking loving that so next I want to oh do you know what oh my god the glitter so I'm definitely going to put a little bit of like either the the lilac glitter or the pink glitter I'm going to put that like on the inner corner but I do want to put a little bit of shimmer on the lid and I think I'm going to go in with this one here because we have to stick with the pink theme of course oh my gosh like wow so I'm just going to pop this I'm going to pop this onto the lid feels a little bit dry going on and I I mean, it definitely has like, added some brightness, but it's not as maybe metallic as I would like it to be. So, so I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit of my Morphe setting spray. I'm just going to spray a little bit of this on my table, dip my finger in, and then we're going to go back in with a wet finger. Sometimes, guys, you just need a wet finger, like literally. So, oh my gosh, look, can you see instantly how much that wet finger has just provided a lot more intensity and shine so we're going back in again yeah guys honestly a wet finger it is the way forward wet finger or go home i don't know wet finger is the key to everything in life okay so there we go 
So I've just kind of focused wet finger action on the kind of inner half of the lid and I am liking it. So guys, next we're going to go in. Oh, look at my figure. It looks, looks so pretty, guys. Like, yes, bitch, yes. Do you know what I might do? I may like just kind of stamp that wet finger. Can you see? On the inner bit. What is the name for this, guys? Other than in a bit. Like, does anybody know the technical name? I feel like if there was a technical name, Tatty would know what it is. Like, Tatty would be all over that. She'd be like, this is the inner manabula. The manabula. The inner manabula. She would love it. She knows everything, Tatty. Oh, I meant to bring some wipes in here. I, I didn't. So, I'm just going to get them. So, so, so. Next, we are going to go in, as I said, with some beautiful glitter. And I'm going to take this pink glitter I'm gonna pop a little bit just kind of in the manabula we're just gonna call it that you never know maybe it'll kind of take off and then that'll suddenly be like the technical name and in medical journals they'll be like oh yes the inner manabula and that'll just be like my claim to fame you never know so um I'm gonna get my glitter glue and I'm just gonna apply this glitter and we can see how it goes. I've, I always feel so professional. You know, like I've got all my shit together when I do like the turn and I'm over here just like, I feel like, yes, bitch, yes, you have made it. You have made it now. So I've got my favorite glitter glue, which is the Glitter Fix Liquid, also by Sparkle Fantasy Cosmetics. It is a liquid, as you can see. I love this so much because I find it doesn't, uh, kind of mess with the product that I've got underneath it but it's, it's really really effective at keeping glitter in its place you know and I used to like tip it over my hand which if you've watched any of my other videos you will have seen um, and I waste loads of it but now I've just realized I, I'm gonna go like this tip it like onto my finger so I've got wet finger and I'm just gonna like swipe that on my hand can you see still got that Fucking dirty black mark on there. You know what? For good measure, I'm gonna do another, another dip. So, okay, where's my fucking brush? I feel like that's the theme of today's video. Where's my fucking brush? Like, where is it? Do you know what? This is not applying very successfully with a brush. So I'm just gonna go in with my finger. Actually, I didn't realise this. But the glitters in this palette, they are not simply like pressed down glitters. They have a little bit of almost like a, I think they're mixed in with something. Um, can you see? Oh my gosh, that looks absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, they're definitely mixed in with some kind of like, not glue, but they feel kind of, you know, malleable under the finger. So... You know, I don't know if you actually need to apply any extra glue, you know, because they kind of feel wet to the touch. Oh, guys, look, when I die, I hope that this is like all I see, just like shining and glistening in front of my eyes. And then I will go out feeling fabulous. Okay, so can you see the lid? That looks really, really good. And I am going to just like, oh, maybe stamped a little bit too much on there, but I'm not hating it. And I'm also going to just go like under the eye here as well. Gosh, it sticks really, really well, that glitter. It really, really does. You definitely don't need any, any kind of additional sticking agent, I wouldn't say. So here we go. We have one eye done and I am oh look at my fucking finger guys I'm sorry I'm just oh I'm just gonna take my wipe I'm just gonna like clean up a little bit round there and I want to just kind of I want to put something else on the outer V because I just don't feel like it's extremely popping and I you know I want extreme popping so I'm gonna go in with this shade or oh, am I do you know what? I'm going to go back in with the hot pink and I'm just going to like try and like pat, pat this, pat this down. Do you know what? 
feck it i'm gonna go in with glitter across the whole thing but i think on the outer part of my lid i'm gonna go in with the purple or oh, it's not really purple it's a lilac can you see when i put my finger in there it kind of squashes do you see what i mean oh look at that guys oh my gosh there's just something about glitter something about it that is so gorgeous so gorgeous guys how do you cope with like you know stressful situations like what do you do what are your coping strategies like i would be really interested to know because i tend to just freak out at honeys like that's my my thing but i would love to know like what do you do please tell me please tell me anyway guys so i've decided i don't like what i've done on the inner mandela so i'm going to change that I'm going to just kind of, I'm going to wipe it away with the, the power that is, that is a baby wipe. I, I do not know what did I do before. A baby wipe came into my life or a baby came into my life. I just don't know. Um, that looks a lot better, I feel, without the inner corner. Although it's very glittery, isn't it? Maybe I went overboard. But I give no apologies for going overboard with glitter. I've just realised as well, I think... My earring is on upside down. Yes, it is. How did I ever manage that? How the feck? Do you know what? I think I put... Anyway, I really don't give a shit. I'm just leaving it for now. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do the other eye and then we'll be back and we can move on to the highlighter. But so far, I love this palette. I think she's bomb. Bum, 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 bum. Just to show you guys with the hot pink, like uh, the technique that I that I tend to do with like not so pigmented eyeshadows so I just get my brush and I just kind of can you see I just kind of push it into the crease I kind of push it in I almost in circular motions but not blending if that makes sense and I just feel like it gives you the most the most amount of payoff oh shit I picked that up didn't I guys like here's me Thinking I'm a know-it-all, like, oh, here's me giving the expert tips. And then I just fake it up. Like, that's the story of my life, really, guys. Honestly, so the rule here is probably, I don't know, guys. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that, but I failed. And now I feel like I right tit. So, anyway, guys. Okay, so I have finished the eyes. This is what we've got going on. It's very lilac, very pink. It's just very pink and I like it. I really, really like it. I really liked using the Sparkle Fantasy Palette today. I'm going to put it there for the rest of the video. I think it's an absolutely fantastic palette. If you like pastel pink or just pink, if or if you if you just like pastel whimsical, just kind of ethereal kind of shades and you like a bit of glitter, then I think you would like that palette and I would definitely recommend. I don't have any criticisms to say other than I thought that you definitely do need to use a wet finger, a wet brush with the shimmers and this isn't a criticism but you don't need an additional kind of glitter glue or glitter liquid or anything glitter liquid what i don't know what that is but it sounds really really nice but you don't need any additional product to uh, work as an adhesive to put the glitter on okay so next we're going to try the liquid lipstick this is by key best and it is in the shade 11 this is what the packaging looks like it is quite tiny it's like a little mini and um, so uh, you know you don't get the most amount of product but it's super affordable so okay okay so i've removed the lip product that i had on and we are just going to apply i kind of like the shade i don't like the scent it's it's a very kind of sickly sweet uh like vanilla kind of smell but it's quite strong okay so there we go it's a beautiful kind of coral shade i was not expecting that i thought it was going to be more more kind of pink okay so there we go 
you know what I actually really really like it um, although I can feel that it is drying and it's looking a little bit patchy but I mean that could just be because you know it's drying in certain areas so I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt I really like the shade I think the shade is tremendously beautiful I'm not 100% sure whether it's working with the whole eye look but I actually don't care because I really like the shade so okay guys whilst the liquid lipstick is fully drying. We're going to move on to the Diamond Glow or Golb, whichever it may be, highlighted by Focal Your. So this is in the shade Nova Light. So the other one that I've got is in the shade Rose Radiance and it's a beautiful icy pink shade. I say icy, but icy pink, it's not. It's kind of got, it's like a duochrome, like gold pink, gold pink. So, okay, let's see guys. Is it going to have the same type? Oh shit. <sighs> I was dropping it. Oh, I've just realised I'm not bronzed. Shit. Anyway, let's get this out and then I will bronze before I try it on. But are we, are we going to have the same gold type or what do you think, guys? Gold. Yes, of course. Of course, we are going to be golding today. Okay, so, okay, so guys, this is a beautiful peach shade. Should we do a little swatch? Oops. Oh, see you later. A little bit of plastic fell out. Okay, so there we go. She certainly looks as beautiful as Rose Radiance. So let's do a so watch. Okay, so yeah, similar to the Rose Radiance, you have an extremely kind of wet look sheen going on. This looks slightly duochrome or I don't know, does it? It looks like an icy peach. It's gorgeous so it's not really got the traditional warmth of you know a regular kind of peach shade it is a little bit more cool toned and icy but do you know what i just have a feeling that this would look exceptional on like a darker skin or an olive skin or tan skin oh get in there i think it looks so good guys just before i try this on i'm going to just bronze because I feel like I need to bronze today, so I'm actually going to use my uh, bronzer, but also by Focalior. So this is the Sculpt and Glow, and it's in the shade 01 Maui Nights and Opal. We have a highlighter and a contour shade. The contour shade is extremely cool toned, so if you're very fair skinned or you just love a cool toned contour, then I cannot recommend this enough. <laughs> Okay, so guys, we are ready to rock and roll. So here we go with Nova Light. I did have a little like pre-suspicion that this may be a dupe just by looking at the pictures of it on AliExpress. I thought it might be a dupe for Rodeo Dry by Ulfa, which is my all-time favourite highlighter. But now that I've seen it, I know it's nowhere near. It's definitely a lot kind of peachier. So, okay, guys, here we go. <gasps> Can you see, like, I sprayed a little bit. I had a tiny bit of Fix Plus oh, left. And look, can you see it's fecked up my whole face? What the heck? Guys, I'm going to have to sort this out. One sec, guys. Okay, so, because I only had a tiny bit of my Fix Plus left, and I wanted to, like, cover up my eyes because I didn't want it to make my mascara leak, smudge. I don't know, but I didn't want it to mess with my mascara. I just kind of covered my eyes and sprayed it. And because it like sprayed out with aggression because it was in its last throes of life, it just like, it caused a little bit of spotting on my cheeks, which I did not appreciate. So I just went back over my face with my sponge that was still slightly dirty. I know it sounds awful, doesn't it? Um, but anyway, guys, let's try again. Oh my gosh, here we go. Oh, yes, bitch. Get in there with that goal. Look at this. Oh. <gasps> guys, if you have fair skin, if you have olive skin, I'm not quite sure how it would look on deeper skin, but I think it would look really, really good, actually. 
this is beautiful it's definitely got a tiny bit of warmth to it but mainly it's kind of an icy peach oh god damn it god damn it guys i am in love i am in I'm in love. Like, I love the rose, rose, rose. I love the rose, rose. Why can I not say rose? I love the rose. Oh my god, I cannot say it now. I fuck. Anyway, I love the other one. Um, but I also love this one. They're very different from each other. If you're more a pink gold kind of fan, I would recommend Rose Radiance. But if you're a fan of like an icy peach, oh, she will be your best friend. Like, she will. Look at these guys. Oh, gosh. Do you know what? I actually think she does look a little bit similar to Rodeo Drive in terms of, like, the wet look sheen and the blinding goal. But I think Rodeo Drive just has a little bit more warmth to it. A little bit on the tippity tip 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 of my nose. A little bit here. A little bit here. A little bit down my nose. Just a little bit on my chin. A little bit here. Oh yes, bitch, yes. Um, oh, do you know what? I've just realised it's shit. You know, because I had that, you know, spotting caused by the aggressive setting spray and I went back over it with my sponge. Look, I didn't go over this side, so you can definitely see that cool tone contour here, but over here you can't see it. Damn. I mean, I really like much prefer this side to this side. Kind of looks a bit muddy, doesn't it, now? So, shit. But, you know what? I can do something about this. Back over with the sponge again, guys. Okay, so I went back over it with the sponge, of course. So, because I did that, I obviously have to go back in with more goal. Of course, I want to be goal wing today. And I will not take anything other than maximum goal. There we go, guys. Okay. I think somebody needs to phone up Webster's Dictionary and get goal added in as a new adjective, like I'm going to goal, goal, just goal. I'm going to take my hair down. I always feel like, you know, if my hair's down, it looks like I've made more of an effort. Okay, so the look, it is complete. I absolutely love the extra glittery, just glittery candy floss pink eye. I love it. I think the liquid lipstick is okay. I mean, it does look a tad bit streaky, you know, just a tad bit streaky, um, but it doesn't feel that bad. It does feel slightly dry, but it's not like the driest I've ever had. And it also, it doesn't feel that uncomfortable. And I really, really love the shade of it. It's a beautiful coral pink. I actually do approve of the liquid lipstick. I love the highlight. I just think she's beautiful. I did notice that the price of the highlighter does seem to fluctuate quite a bit. So I think I bought it for like four pounds something, but then I have seen it as high as six pounds something. However, I think even if you were to pay like 10 pounds for this, you know, compared with, you know, with the higher end highlighters, I don't think that, you know, you would, regret it or you would be disappointed because it's a really really good formula i do feel like recently aliexpress makeup brands uh, are just really like pumping up the gears they're saying yes we're going to improve our quality they're competing i feel like they are competing with higher end brands and they are making a mockery of them because you know even like ofra highlighters which i adore you know if you buy full size it's like 25 pounds or something but i don't really see any huge difference in the formula between ofra and these fuckle your um, what are they called? Fuckle Your Diamond Glow Highlighters. I am going to go, but I would definitely recommend go check out Sparkle Fantasy Cosmetics uh, website. She just has some beautiful, beautiful products. The, this little, can you, can you see the mini Nine Pine palette up there? That's actually one of uh, Sparkle Fantasy Cosmetic palettes so i love them so much i display them so anyway guys i hope you're having a wonderful day and i will see you in the next video 